Hello, everyone, and welcome to this podcast session. So my name is Christine Dahl, and I will present the ingredient to build an effective and innovative ecosystem developed around state-of-the-art research and infrastructure. So first, let's set the time and the evolution. So you see here the development curve of the uh, technological paradigm with the emphasis on three revolutions, so the industrial, the information, and the molecular one. So that proved the concept uh, so from the scientific discovery, so to grow on the technological aspect. So then uh, before it can mature, so thanks to the industry and the business, uh, and then finally to be part of our daily life. Now, what happens in the world of accelerator? So this is the pie here that shows out of the 40,000 uh, accelerators, so mostly what we have right now, uh, that most of them are used for the iron implementation, so for the variation of uh, the semiconductor device, uh, with a growing number as well for medical uh, therapy, and uh, of course, uh, the large and uh, the largest and well-known uh, LHC collider or light source or neutron source, which are the subject of uh, this presentation. So in the case of Sean and for the SS, so and many others large uh, projects, so the reason of being is this is to enable science, science for society. So for the SS, for instance, this means to develop uh, advanced material, to study the building block of uh, our human body, or to develop more environmental friendly product. So for those ambitious projects uh, and expensive scope, so the current research infrastructure often depends on consortium. So like the ESS, so gathering 13 uh, European countries, so thanks to in-sky in model. So then it means that the structure and collaborative approach is needed uh, to uh, construct and operate such large scale project. So diverse forum communications so between research infrastructure, industrial coordination, the policymaker, European administration, and all the stakeholders are mandatory. And we can define this further on Wednesday and as listed as well in this paper. So if we now focus on those research infrastructures, we can easily guess that the future discovery generated from those giant infrastructure will benefit from three disciplines. So the laboratory, where you can get the beam time, the education for the know-how, and the industry for the drive. So the industry and the collaboration, it needs to be a synergy. And as you can see here, that more than 40% on those collaboration give raise to some new product in the industry. But this is through the academia. So this is really closing the loop. Huh? we see here. Now to enable also an optimal transfer of knowledge and savoir-faire, so scientific communication, training and education can use novel technology and methodology to enhance the information communication technology, the ICT. So we show here so some more examples of initiative to reach uh, those uh, goals. So like for instance, the Nordic Particle Accelerator Program MOOC, Massive Open Online Course, teaching today accelerator physics to more than 10,000 lecturers. So the learner since 2019. And due to the pandemic, so online lecture also have become a clear added value as well to our educative tool. So like uh, the ASP, so series teaching the mystery of photon and neutron. So and many other communication channel and public engagement that we can discover on the links provided in this paper. So you can uh, uh, do now a little stop, uh, so think uh, and understanding uh, where all the different development and innovative tools using big data and innovative techniques like the virtual reality, the augmented reality can facilitate the construction and operation of research infrastructure. So all that based on the FAIR principle. So you can um, discuss, we can discuss so the, the Danish data management uh, and software center in Denmark based uh, um, so, uh, for the ESS. So the virtual reality room as well that we use at ESS with a 3D model uh, showing uh, how all those things work or will work. And then all the related project as well, maintenance of uh, the LHC in a safe way. So all of that uh, we can discuss as well. So we can also give an overall um, view on uh, the novel way of working to facilitate the preparation and implementation of activities for the construction or um, the LHC um, maintenance. So for this case of the uh, tracking or the role-based approach to, uh, used uh, at ESS uh, to better organize uh, the staff training. And we can also uh, list uh, some of those uh, key innovations so born for the construction of research infrastructure by talented experts. 
So bottom line, so following uh, the next uh, step uh, that I proposed below, so we would like to engage you into a discussion that will permit to analyze those key ingredients. So we can uh, describe further uh, smart tools to prepare the full scale solution to enable those research uh, infrastructure potential and impact. 